On today's programme, we're talking about man and woman's best friend. We're talking dogs, so listen up. In fact, listen up is a good way of putting it because we're talking about dogs' ears today on the show. Now, whether they're short and pointy or whether they're long and floppy, there can be lots of problems with dogs' ears, as Rob the Vet knows very well, because he'll see about one or two cases a day here in his surgery in Hoy Lake. So, Rob, what kind of dog-eared problems do you see? We see a whole range of ear problems, ranging from minor irritation right the way through to ears that are so severe, the only thing that will fix them is surgery. If we have a look at this ear, problem, uh, this ear model, the ear itself is basically a tube of skin in a letter L. At the top is the pinna or the ear flap, and at the bottom is the eardrum. All the way along this, it's lined with wax glands, and these increase production in the face of infection or irritation. And when they get irritated, they produce more wax. But the ear itself isn't the only thing that can go wrong. Sometimes we'll see the ear as an external expression of an internal disease, such as a thyroid problem or an allergic problem or a steroid problem. Now, we always prefer prevention rather than cure on this show, so how can we prevent ear problems with doggies? Well, the difference in the presentation often is represented as to whether or not owners are cleaning and looking at their ears regularly. If you pick it up early, it's often easier to fix, whereas if you wait till it's a lot later, then we struggle more to actually get to the bottom of the cause. Yeah, so always try and look for things early. Shall we bring in our special guest on the show today? Oh yes, Let's this bring is Nancy. In the gorgeous Nancy. Now this is actually your dog, isn't it? It is indeed. They're here. What? What? Now this is Nancy, and she's only got eyes and ears for Rob, I have to say. But what about Nancy's ears? Are they nice and clean and healthy? They're horrible. They're <laughs> always full of muck. Oh, Nancy. So what's the best way of cleaning them then? Well, first things first is never stick anything down their ears. We often get owners with cotton buds trying to dig the wax out, and this can be painful, and we will have to go and retrieve the ends every now and again. Mm. The best way to clean these ears is to use a nice, gentle ear cleaner. And what you're going to do is glug some of this into the ear, and then give it a nice, gentle massage. This is allowing all of the wax and the debris to be lubricated and lifted and float to the top. And then what we're going to do is wipe out anything that's floated up to the surface mm -hmm. so that we can remove all the bits that are left. <laughs> I think she quite likes that. Yeah, she's enjoying the attention. The other thing to remember is always do it in an area where you can wipe clean afterwards. They'll often shake their head and send rubbish everywhere. So as always, if you're worried about anything to do with your dog, in particular with its hearing or with its ears, then do pop along and see your local vet.